in this we will see class A power amplifier. Okay. So in class A power amplifier, this is called series mode because this node, what are you see, is in series. Okay, this is a resistor. Okay, which is of 100 ohms. That's why it is called series. Okay. The output is taken with a series resistor. Hence, it is called series. Here you can take transformer, then it is called uh, transformer coupled class A. Okay. Since we have taken resistor, it is called series mode. Yeah. Then in this class A ampli power amplifier, okay, in class A series mode, the conduction angle will be 360 degrees. That means the total the conduction angle for this is 360. Efficiency maximum is 25 okay, for series mode. And in this uh, in this experiment, we have to see what is the efficiency. Okay, efficiency is given by P out AC, power output AC divided by P input AC into 100 percentage. Okay, so P output AC is calculated by taking V peak to peak whole square by 8 RL. Okay, V peak to peak whole square it is whole square divided by 8 RL. And P input DC is this BBC into IC. Okay, we have to calculate this. Okay, so this is a circuit of class A. Okay, we are given some resistor. This is from test, this is the biasing. Okay, and this. Then same, I have given 100 millions. Okay, same. Then I will take the output here. Okay. Now we will do the next thing. So if the circuit is connected to the we will get voltages. Okay, I have already done this. Points. You see these points. Okay. So we are getting much IC. The current is flowing here is 69.94 milliamps. So P or P input DC, that is the DC power consumed by this circuit is this 12 volts VCC into this 69.95 milliamps. This will give me a P input power DC. P input DC is nothing but you multiply this 12 volts into 69.9 milliamps. Okay? This is the input power. How much it is converting into AC? We have to see. So let's go to again analyze. Okay, we are taking only the transient. Okay. Yes, analyze stimulator. Okay, so this is the output voltage right? Yeah. We are getting. Okay. So this is so three P sixty degrees it is conducting. Okay. Conduction angle, this so it is called uh, class A. From class A the conduction angle will be totally we are getting both positive side and negative side. Both positive and negative. Okay? So that's why it is called class A. And since it is series that you are getting actually 180 degrees out of this. Okay. Now mm, check the peak to peak. How much it is showing? For DC shift to this one, say suppose one here, one, two, three, four, each is two, four to five is, each is two hundred, two hundred millivolts. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight stations, eight into two hundred millivolts. Okay, I 1.6 ohms. We are getting 1.26 ohms peak to peak. Okay, peak to peak. From this peak to peak, how many reagents it is showing you calculate. Okay. And that you substitute in this formula. V peak to peak whole square. That is 1.6 whole square by 8 RL. What is RL? RL is this load, 100 ohms. Okay? And 
calculate this. Okay, this is hundred ohms. This is one point two. That's very really good. So take out this ratio into hundred units. It should come less than twenty five percent. Okay, see how much you are getting. That is the efficiency of this circuit. How much amount of DC power is converted into AC. How much DC power is converted into is given by eta. Okay. So in the experiment, we are seeing that only efficiency is E. How much efficiency it is converting into this? Okay. So that's how it is. That's one. We have to see the conduction angle and efficiency. This is. Okay. So this is your. Radius that is 12 volts into this. Okay, and that is it.